So the topic is individuals, groups, and teams. Chapter number 14. What are we going to learn under this? We are going to see individual is a single person. Group is if you take four to five individuals, it becomes a group. If you take more number of people under it, it becomes a team. That means if I say only one single person is an individual, a, a group of people, we say four to five individuals form a group and 10 to 15 members. If you have, you have a team. So it is like why the need for groups and teams have aroused because there is a limitation with individual individual cannot perform all the ta all the tasks at one given time. OK, and if we overburden an individual with so many tasks, there's a tendency that he may make he or she may commit mistakes and blunders. So it is always better to uh, like uh, it's always better that when there's a limitation with an individual, it is uh, like a, a group can be formed. The tasks can be divided amongst the group members. And uh, then what happens within a given timeline? Everyone can perform their own tasks and uh, the results would be better than uh, what an individual can deliver. When it comes to team uh, big tasks like which a group cannot perform or which group has a limitation. Teams can be uh, like made. So teams can be said as groups, uh, group, group of groups. That means there are 15 members, right? So five members group, five members group, five members group. So all these groups club together can be a team, right? So group of groups. So now here, since the limitations are very clear and evident, the need for groups and team has aroused uh, when an individual cannot perform all the tasks. So individuals perception, we will see what they think. We will see the personality, what kind of attitude they should have. What is a group? We will understand. We will see what types of group we have. Uh, we have formal and informal groups and then we'll see individual and group contribution, how an individual can contribute and how a group can contribute. We will see forward. Uh, we will see about a team. We will see what's the meaning of a team limitation of team working strengths of team working and then organizing teamwork and then we see uh, excuse me give me a second give me a second please
Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, someone came to visit. So team member roles. Uh, hello. Yeah. Then we will discuss about the team member roles like Belbin's team roles. What bell? What according to Belbin a team role can be or should be a balanced team. We will see Tuckman's stages. We'll see. Building a team, team identity, solidarity, how they stand with each other in the time of crisis. Shared objectives. Everyone will have the similar kind of objectives. And uh, successful teams, what it is like. Uh, then you have to evaluate the team effectiveness and rewarding effective teams. Let's dig deeper into the subject. Individuals managers need to understand what motivates individuals. The first and foremost thing within the groups and teams they control. OK, so there is a manager who leads a team. Or who leads a group. I already explained you what is the difference. They have to understand what the participants of a team or group who are individuals. What motivates them? How they can be motivated? And uh, and how they can be controlled. So there are some key variables perception, personality, attitude. These three can differ, right? What is perception? Perception is nothing but what you perceive. What do you think in your brain? Mind perception is the process by which the brain selects and organizes information in order to make sense of it. That means uh, like uh, it is a kind of a process by which your brain selects, picks up and it organizes the information. Like let's say I want uh, I want uh, to I I want to develop a perception regarding uh, a particular uh, individual or place. Let's say uh, Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal happens to be one of the seven wonders of the world, right? So what is my perception regarding Taj Mahal? So my brain will select this uh, particular place or monument. Uh, and then uh, all the information regarding Taj Mahal will be, you know, sorted out, organized. In order to make sense of it, that means then I'll clearly understand what is Taj Mahal all about. OK, if I get all the if I select something and if I gather all the data. I can build a perception. So people without uh, like or without like selecting things and uh, and organizing information, you can't make a perception. So perception can therefore have an impact on how the individual approaches their work. It is upon you how you perceive. If you think that you are very tired of doing work, then really you are tired. If you think that no, uh, you can work hard, then you can work hard just as So this is Mount Everest. And there is there are many mountaineers who try to climb Mount Everest and you know there are some people there. There have been some people who have climbed the peak of the Mount Everest. And it's like something like many like some people used to say they had gender bias long time back. That some tasks are for the women and some tasks are for the men. No, no task is uh, something which can be specific to a woman or men. Women can perform almost every task what a man can perform. It is just just the perception what they had. So they thought that on, uh, when men cannot climb it very easily or the people cannot climb this peak very. Uh, it's very tough to climb, but you know there have people who have successfully climbed this peak and women also have climbed this peak. This peak. So that is all about perception. So if they if they really thought that no, we can't climb the uh, Mount Everest. Uh, we cannot reach to the highest uh, to the to the highest point then they cannot reach if they think that they can reach they can they can reach so how do they see the task example hard as i said hard how do they see their colleagues example then then if it is hard then how someone has climbed this how do they see the role example important so it's very important to climb this to uh, create a world record so that is what an individual will be thinking all about. So he will be think about the task, how hard this is, how hard is the ACC exam to crack, 
how some of them have cracked this exam. So you can collect or gather some data regarding the students and know from them how they did their preparation. Or you can ask your teacher, mentor, how uh, like uh, have the how should the preparation be going on? What kind of approach should be there? And how do they see the role example important? Whether how how like wh what is the importance of doing this course? If you know that this is very important and essential for your life, then definitely uh, you would be putting more focus and you'd be putting your honest approach to crack this exam. Then comes the personality. In order to identify, describe and explain differences between people, psychologists use the concept of personality. Yes, there are people with different different personalities, right? Someone is introvert. So there are two individuals. Individual one, that is Mr. X and Mr. Y. So we uh, want to differentiate these two people. So this guy is very introvert, they say, and is an extrovert. That means he's he's someone who can express, who cannot express, who find it very difficult to express express his feelings or very difficult to talk. And here this guy is like you know chatterbox. It it doesn't even you know think uh, twice before talking to anyone. So there there comes personality is total pattern of characteristic ways of thinking, feeling, and behaving that constitute the individual's distinctive method of relating to environment. So how you think about something, how you feel about something, how you behave that tells you this all combination. That's what I said. Thinking. Thought process, feeling. Behavior. All this club together. Can say about uh, the personality of someone. So personality types, traits, extrovert, and there can be like, you know, suitability example fit the role and compatibility example to colleagues. That means if if someone wants to hire in a company, they will see his personality. What kind of person that is? Can he gel easy, easily? Can, is he a good mingler? What suits him? What kind of role is better for him? All these things would be seen. Attitudes are our general standpoint on things. That means how we take things OK, uh, like uh, the positions we have adopted in regard to particular issues, things and people as we perceive them. So generally uh, we say that right his attitude is, you know, he has a he has a very good attitude. That means the person is very positive towards anything. That positivity shows the attitude of that person towards something, how he perceives, right? So processes example having steps to follow. Attitude towards a people example in a suit. That means whether you are filing a case against someone, what is the attitude? Change example, not like authority example, the police. So you uh, see what kind of attitude the people can have towards each other. Police can have towards people. It's like, you know, the we, we say friendly police in Telangana. But do you think really the attitude of the police towards the people is very friendly? It depends upon how they, you know, what kind of procedure they have, the steps they follow and uh, what, how they behave uh, on particular thing and how they like whether they have helping nature or not. Sorry. Hello. What kind of personality they have? It depends on that. In the sense, no, how they behave with people, whether they are like having a cordial approach towards people or they are very much, uh, you know, like unfriendly or uh, they whether they are supportive or not. It depends upon that and the attitude can be judged. So there's an activity one. Please tell me the answer for this. In what ways do you feel or behave differently at work compared to when you are with your family, social group, sports team? See, we try to be more formal, organized, right? Focused, correct? At workplace, isn't it so? Yes, sir. A bit reserved too. Mm, I, uh, yeah, see, engrossed, I can say. If you are engrossed in your work, then you will not be seeing anything. Right? Friendly, etc. There can be many things. Groups. What is a group? A group is a is any collection of people who perceive themselves to be a group. That means the perception should be there that they the group has been formed and they they want to be in that group, right? 
So groups have certain attributes that a random crowd does not possess. Sense of identity that group is known for something. So there, there, there are acknowledged boundaries to the group which define who is in and who is out, who is us and who is them, right? So who is in, who is out, who is us, who is them? Loyalty to the group, the acceptance within the group, like uh, whether you are very loyal to a group, this generally expresses itself as uh, conformity or acceptance of the norms of behavior and attitudes that bind the group together and exclude others from it, right? So what, do, what does this mean? Loyalty to the group and acceptance within the group. Loyalty means how faithful you are to the group, uh, to, to the entire group. That means uh, like uh, if you are loyal, then you will be accept, there will be acceptance, right? So this generally ex expresses itself as conformity or acceptance of the norms. Whether you are accepting everything, uh, every norm and every like and behavior and you are having an attitude that bind the group together and exclude others from it. The one who is not suitable for that. Purpose and leadership. Most groups have an express purpose. Whatever field they are in, most will spontaneously or formally choose individuals or subgroups to lead them towards the fulfillment of those goals. So the what is the purpose? Uh, and of the group and the leadership. See, groups have an express purpose. They 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 are formed with a purpose that is very clear. Whatever field they are in, uh, most will spontaneously or formally, continuously or formally, choose individuals or subgroups to lead them towards the fulfillment of goals. That is what. So some leader would be there and the group entire group would be motivated enough and they want to achieve some objectives and goals for that reason the groups have been formed what is the meaning of spontaneous hello naturally it's very naturally na natural when people uh, have been made uh, taken or selected or picked and formed a group, they want to achieve the goals. Now, what do you mean by formal and informal groups? Formal is like informal is like very friendly exchange of like mates. OK, exchange of information is, you know, uh, regularly happening. Gossips, grapevine, everything is very common. And uh, formal are, you know, intentionally organized by the organization for a task for which they are held responsible. They are task oriented and become teams. Although many people enjoy working in teams, their popularity in workplace arises because of their effectiveness in fulfilling the organization's work. This is more of, you know, uh, less of, uh, you know, like uh, I won't say unfriendly. These are people who are not friendly. Less of gossips and grapevine and more of focused approach. That's it. OK, they don't want to speak anything about here and there. They only want to have one focus. That is the task here. Everything is all right. OK. Accept it. Just tell me the, the second activity. Answers for this. What does it say? What groups are you a member of in your study or work environments? How big are these groups? How does the size of your class, study group, work team or whatever uh, affect your ability to come up with questions or ideas? Give you help and support to something you couldn't have done alone couldn't do alone so this is a homework it's a very very general thing you can send me by typing on a word document okay i don't want any paper answers on on word you have to type and send me the answer for this activity now sure sir yeah yeah because you have to develop your speed of typing for the rest of the acca papers now Individual and group contribution. See, people contribute different skills and attributes to the organization as individuals than they do as group members because that's what they are, they are differentiating between the contribution an individual can give or a group can give. See, an individual can give his 100%, right? If he's working individually, a group can give 100%, but that group has certain members, let's say five members. So each member can, some member can give 40%. Some member can take it for granted and just can give 10%. You know, some people are lazy and they don't, they don't want to work and they dump their work on others. 
and others take sense of responsibility and want to do that more seriously. So they take up the extraordinary burden. They want to give their uh, maximum what they can. So that uh, shows that individuals, uh, like if they are put on some task and they have been assigned the task and have uh, been told to fulfill that or accomplish it, they give their hundred percent. But here it gets divided. So we cannot uh, like uh, uh, know the individual's performance in a group. That's the reason why we give uh, we we take that as a group performance. So people contribute different skills and attributes to organization as individuals than they do as group members because human behavior is different in groups than in solo or interpersonal situations. Group dynamics have an effect on performance. Groups offer synergy. Yes. Excellent groups, you know, like synergy is nothing but when you take some four or five people, you can divide the task and do that. So uh, like synergies of combination can be attained or achieved through groups. That means uh, more benefits can be taken in that case, right? So the pooling and simulation uh, stimulation ideas. What do you mean by stimulation? First of all, what is the meaning of synergy? Combination uh, or cooperation, we can say, or interaction. Right? And uh, stimulates, that means uh, it, you know, makes the process much more uh, easy. Okay? Uh, what we say, the activity can be, you know, uh, like uh, more encouragement kind of. Encouragement of ideas. So groups offer synergy and uh, the pooling and encouragement or motivation or like, you know, quicken. There can be also a word called quicken. Expedite. Enthusiasm. Yeah, yes. Of ideas and energies in group. Yes, good. Uh, can allow greater contribution than individuals working on their own. Of course, they will be more uh, sometimes uh, enthusiastic if they work together than as an individual. Group dynamics and synergy may also be negative, distracting the individual, stifling individual responsibility and flair and so on. I told you already, many people, they want to dump their work. They don't come out and the others who are very serious and honest about their work, they suffer. Individuals may contribute more and better in some situations. There are some points here. Individuals contribute, groups contribute a set of skills, mix of skills, of course. Objectives set by manager. Some teams can set their own objectives under the corporate framework. Point of view and a number of different points of view, enabling a swift, swift overview of different ways of looking at a problem. Creative ideas related to the individual's expertise creative ideas arising from new combinations of expertise. I can't be in two places at once. That is what an individual says and it is very much evident. Flexibility as team members can be deployed in different ways. Limited opportunity for criticism here, but opportunity for exercising control. Is what you see in groups. Just read this. I'll shift myself because there is only 11% battery left over remaining.
so now let us uh, discuss about teams meaning of team so a team is a group of people with complementary skills who have a common purpose and objectives for which they hold themselves accountable of course a team is formed with a intention okay there is a motive to form a team all the people who are in a team complement each other in the sense a team is made whereby you know uh, I, if i have a team of accountants one person will do the bookkeeping job okay one will do the reconciliation so you know recon uh, to do reconciliation they should have they should get the details from these people yes then there is someone who is maintaining the cash books for all cash transactions these people have to look uh, towards them all the transactions which are happening in the business first they will be recorded in subsidiary books so bookkeepers also play a very important role and and the one who is preparing the financial reports at the end of the year have to take data from all these people so they are the ones who are complementing each other right and a team is more than a group it has joint objectives and accountability and may be set up by the organization under the supervision or coaching of a team leader so you know there will be a team and there will be a team leader for that although self managed teams are growing in popularity strengths of team working teams are particularly well adapted to following to the following purposes type of role work organization teams uh, some comments on this teams combine the skills of different individuals first of all teams are a coordinating mechanism they avoid complex communication between different business functions yes see teams combine skills of different individuals because different individuals are a part of team teams are a coordinating mechanism there is a coordination which is very much required they avoid complex communication they want to make things very easy always between different business functions control fear of letting down the team uh, control fear of letting down the team can be a powerful motivator team loyalty can be used to control the performance and behavior of individuals I idea generation teams can generate ideas example through brainstorming and information sharing decision making decisions are evaluated from one more than one viewpoint with pooled information teams make fewer but better evaluated decisions than individuals that is what we have discussed about uh, the advantages of team now let us also understand the disadvantages of teams or limitations limitations of team working teams and team working are very much in fashion but there are potential drawbacks team working is not suitable for all jobs although some managers do not like to admit this team work should be introduced because it leads to better performance not because people feel better or more secure yes so team leads to better performance not because people feel better under it because it is more secure because uh, the success what a team can generate is you know more than a individual uh and it uh, like what uh, individual has lot of limitations team has less team processes can delay decision making the team may also produce the compromise decision not the right decision so what happens uh so first drawback or limitation if i have to explain you team working is not suitable for all jobs of course and some managers also admit this some some work see when there is a task if someone can do it in a very uh, sh short span of time and some individuals very capable of doing it and uh, he is not overburdened even so why a team has to be formed team is formed only for big tasks team work should be introduced because it leads to better performance not because people feel better or more secure that's what the team should be made uh, for some specific purpose but not like people feel more secure in it team processes can delay decision making at times yes because especially seeking consensus the team may also produce the compromised decision not right decision 
at times social relationships might be maintained at the expense of other aspects of a performance and group norms may restrict individual personality and flair and also when there is a team group think always they will be having a consensus and they'll try to dominate team consensus and cohesion may prevent consideration of alternatives or constructive criticism if there's a team working there are many members in that so no individual if individual want to raise anything against them so all of them will be supporting each other and then uh, they will be saying that uh, we are like majority of people and we are working on something and what we have uh, seen and what we have you know uh, like uh, uh, in the sense uh, concluded is what is the one which should be considered uh, rather than any other alternative uh, because they all you know are uh, someone who are supporting each other and they have uh, consensus and cohesion and then what happens the decision can be wrong but still that uh, th th their uh, viewpoint would be considered because they are majority of the people so that's called group think which is not good leading the team to be uh, to make risky ill considered decisions personality clashes and political behavior within a team can get in the way of effective performance what does it mean by consensus and cohesion consensus is nothing but everyone uh, like agreeing to some point consensus a common see there are 10 people and someone is giving a uh, like uh, someone is giving some kind of idea let's say or giving a statement and asking the uh, like you know uh, asking how many people the how many people agree to that if all the 10 people agree they have consensus that's what hello okay sir yeah just a second next organizing teamwork there are three basic approaches to the organization of teamwork multidisciplinary teams bring together individuals from different departments uh, who each have a particular skill or specialization specialism so that knowledge is pooled multi skill teams bring together individuals who can perform any of the group tasks allowing greater flexibility in allocation of roles virtual teams bring together individuals working in remote locations like some different different locations reproducing this, reproducing the social collaborative and information sharing aspects of team working using information and communications technology that is you know virtually someone is in america some us someone is in australia australia someone is in new zealand someone is in uk india all these people virtually can be connected through internet like skype meeting or zoom or whatever and they can discuss things these are virtual teams team member roles belbin's team roles meredith belbin in 1993 characterized the successful mix of team roles in an effective team as follows that means this is the mix a team uh, mix of team roles that means a team will have lot many individuals roles will be given to them and those mix of roles uh, if it is in this way then that can make a very effective team so ideas people task so ideas would come from here people will come and task will be coming so you know plant and monitor evaluator this we have discussed in the previous topic as well shaper expert or specialist complete finisher resource investigator team worker monitor evaluator see first so there is a there there will be a chairman right and the chairman uh, is someone who is you know uh, 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 a a monitor and evaluator and uh, in a plant or in in a company you see chairmen and uh, in any matter he can investigate and uh, he can take the final decisions he can be a very expert and specialist team workers will be considered for knowing how they are working then he will can be act he can act as shaper he can give shape to things and should be worker 
we'll discuss about all these things in this. Uh, with this, we'll understand about the Belbin's uh, team. Okay. And team member roles. So plant. So creative, imaginative, unorthodox. So very creative. Someone who can bring new ideas and uh, can be very critical in think can can have critical thinking and can be you know can can think out of the box so solves difficult problems ignores details too preoccupied to communicate effectively resource investigator extrovert speaking to people enthusiastic communicative explores opportunities develops contacts over optimistic loses interest that is about the uh, weakness. So something is allowable. Actually, some weaknesses are there, but that's OK. Allowable over optimistic at times loses interest. Once initial enthusiasm has passed. That is the case with many people. Once they will start investigation, but slowly they lose their uh, like uh, lose the serious enthusiasm to, uh, you know, investigate always. Coordinator. Mature, confident, and a good chairperson clarifies goals, promotes decision making, delegates well. That means assigns the task to the subordinates in a very proper way. Can be as manipulative, can be seen as manipulative, delegates personal work. Shaper, challenging, dynamic, thrives on pressure, has the drive and courage to overcome obstacles, can provoke others at times, hurts people's feelings. Team worker, cooperative, mild, perceptive, and diplomatic, and can listen, build, avoid friction, calms the waters. Indecisive in crunch situations can be easily influenced. Implementer, company worker, disciplined, reliable, conservative, and efficient, turns ideas into practical action, somewhat inflexible, slow to respond to new possibilities. Complete finisher, painstaking, con con uh, synthesious conscientious and anxious so what do you mean by anxious sometimes you know they are very uh, fearing to things anxious what is the actual meaning of anxious anxious about it uh, so i can say this is you know someone who is like taking a lot of pain and who is very diligent hard working Can I anxious is nothing but very much focused. Can I say? Hello. Anxious about doing something like very nervous. Can I say? Yes, sir. Somewhat like fearing and doing things like things should not go wrong. Worried. He doesn't want things to anything to be spoiled and less errors. So searches out errors and omissions delivers on time inclined to worry duly reluctant to delegate nitpicker. Specialist, single minded, self, -star self starting, and uh, dedicated. Provides knowledge and skills in rare supply. Contributes only on a narrow front. Dwells on technicalities. Overlooks the big picture. That's what is something sir, typical about a specialist. Sorry? You missed one, sir. Monitor and evaluator. Which one? You mean to say specialist? No, sir. Monitor and evaluator. Where is that? I missed it. Yes, sir. Oh, I didn't see. Sorry. So sober, strategic and discerning and sees all options, judges accurately. OK, and lacks drive and ability to inspire others. Overly critical. That means they are very sober, very strategic driven and very discerning. What do you mean by discerning? Discern can be something like uh, they, you know, they did lot of they think a lot. OK. They think a lot, I can say. And uh, someone who is more lot um, always noticing something. OK. So a balanced okay. team, yeah, these team. So if someone has all this, it's a balanced team. That's what this particular points will say. 
so next there is a activity given to you you can go through this then comes the tuckman stages how many topics are there more seven okay so you want to read till here today and shall we continue tomorrow you want me to continue how about we continue tomorrow sir that's okay i am absolutely fine with it because next tomorrow's class we can wind up this chapter because there are three topics and we can start a fresh topic as well tomorrow next topic okay. is next topic is we are in the 14th one right we are in the 15th one we can start tomorrow as well yeah this week we can target and finish the syllabus okay so tomorrow also 6:30 would be fine for bt okay, okay. See, actually from my side the late was at times there can be lot of traffic so if i i usually start at 5 at times reach at 6:30 or 6:40 today reached at 6:40 took some 5 10 minutes nap and then immediately came down for the class so tomorrow i'll ensure that i'll be reaching uh, exactly at 6:30 and starting the class okay okay sir okay okay tanya okay umaya is it fine okay sir yeah okay umaya okay okay, okay. thank you thank you